Hello friends. In this video, I will illustrate how you can calculate tension in a string that is moving in a vertical circle. So this problem says, a simple pendulum of mass m is projected from its lowest point at a speed so that the string will slack at a position where it makes angle 60 degree with the upward vertical. We have to find the tension in the string at the lowest position. So let us try to analyze this problem. So what we have? We have a simple pendulum and this is the bob and this is given initial velocity, some velocity, let us say this is given velocity u and it, it makes a motion and it finally reaches here, somewhere here and when it reaches here, the string becomes slacked that is tension becomes zero. So this is the tension in the string. So T is equals to zero when this makes an angle theta of 60 degree. So it is given in the problem that theta is equals to 60 degree at that point of time tension is zero. So what we have to find? We have to find what is the tension when this is at the lowest position. Let us call this tension is T1. So our task is to find T1. Now how will you solve this problem? So you have to use two things. One is this is moving in a circular motion. So this is moving in a circular motion. So this bob is moving in a circular motion. So you have to write equation of motion in the circle. That is force towards the center is equals to mass times acceleration in the radial direction. And the second thing you have to write, so this is the first thing, and the second thing you will need that is energy conservation. So energy conservation. So let us solve yourself, pause this video and solve yourself. Okay, now I assume that at least you have done some exercises. Now let us solve this problem. So first equation we will write that is that is the uh, Newton's law. So the forces that is acting, one force that is acting in this direction and this force is mg and this string has a tension t and the mg will have a component, this angle is also theta. So this will be mg cos theta. So this side, if you take component of mg, so this side you will have mg cos theta. So what you can write, you can write T minus mg cos theta is equals to mass into acceleration mb square by let's say the length of a string is given so this is L and the velocity at this position is B. So this is my first equation. But the question says when theta is equals to 60 degree tension is 0 so I can plug that value here. So tension is equals to 0. Uh, this is T plus mg cos theta because mg cos theta and T both are acting in the same direction. So if you plug T is equals to 0, so you will have T plus mg cos theta is equals to mv square by L. So from here you can write v square is equals to GL cos theta. So we will use this result. So let us call this result as 1, equation 1. Now the second equation will come from energy conservation. So that is loss in kinetic energy is equals to gain in potential energy. So what was the initial kinetic energy? Half mu square and what is the final kinetic energy? Half mv square. So this is the loss in kinetic energy. What is the gain? So initially this bow was here. Now this has moved this distance. So this distance is L and what is this distance? So this distance will be L cos theta because this is theta. So this is L cos theta. So what is the total gain in potential energy that is mz 
L plus L cos theta. So this will be, you will have, so from here you can see what is the value of u square, you can write, so m gets cancels out and then you can write u square is equals to v square plus 2zl and you can take l outside, so this is 1 plus cos theta. So this is equation 2, so now you have two equations you can solve. So from 1, you can plug the value of v square in equation 2. So you will have u square is equal to gl cos theta plus 2gl 1 plus cos theta. And then this becomes 3gl cos theta plus 2gl. Cos theta is 60 degree, theta is 60 degree, so this will be 3gl 1 by 2 plus 2 so this is 2 gl so this will be 7 by 2 gl so this is the initial speed so this was the initial speed but the question says you have to calculate tension at the lowest position so you can again write equation when this is at lowest position i can write t1 and the force mg is acting in this direction so equation will be t1 minus mg is equals to m u square by l. So t1 is nothing but m z plus m u square by l and u square is what? u square is nothing but 7 by 2 z l. So this becomes m m times the g 7 by 2 z and l gets cancelled out. So the tension at lowest point is equals to 7 by 2 mz. So this means if you give a velocity that is 7 by 2 zl and this velocity is approximately 3.5 zl so u square is 3.5 zl or u is equals to under root 3.5 zl so if you give this velocity, the string will become slack at angle of 60 degree. Now question for you. If I give a velocity u which is equal to under root 5 gl, what will happen to the string? Where it will become slacked? So let's do this calculation or think about it and discuss in the comment box. What do you think? You just write in the comment box. And I will see you in the next video. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you enjoy, please share with your friends. And if you wish, you can also subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much.